Okay, a very very quick tutorial on yell screams and particular distortion. So it sounds like I, yeah, again, or higher like mixed voice, ah, or lower. Aah! So it doesn't really matter. The distortion is the same. Um, you might have different variations. Or when you know change soft palettes, mild shapes, whatever, but the distortion is the same. So uh, sometimes it's really hard to find out uh, how it should sound without that much of projection, without of that much of intense and distortion, right? So I'm gonna show you. Uh, if we just you know decrease the projection, that would sound like. Aah! So this is very weird, weird noise. Um, and it's pretty hard to differentiate it from um, other, you know, kind of tissues and I don't know, false chords, arytenoids, whatever. So, uh, again, let me show that to you. Uh, so, the lower rumbling uh, is the basement for different, you know, for, other, for, for a couple of different techniques. And just like for them, just like for false chords, you do, uh, you get that. Uh, and you kind of, you know, lean to it, uh, you increase the projection and you have uh, So just like for this particular uh, technique, you need to increase the projection, the kind of, you know, uh, the air pressure from your belly. So you have that uh, And you basically just increase the volume, you, the, the, the loudness of your screams while keeping everything the same in your throat maybe even slightly, you know, more relaxed. You don't need to do uh, this stuff. No, just a. Uh. So my vocal cords are doing oh. Uh. So you have uh, and you increase that. Uh, yeah, yeah, something like that. So um, how can we find this? So there are many tricks like singing out of your range, whatever, or uh, imitate on a ship, um, but that pretty pretty weird spot is kind of tricky to find you need to be relaxed everywhere in your throat but you need to maintain that ah this sound and you need may need to have more nasality which is like ah. so you know like so you have this voice and this you know particular and it's like it's all about you know kind of uh, putting the resonance in your nasal area. It's not somewhere lower like for this low rumbling false chords growl. It's like ah somewhere here. You feel it like if you so the distortion should feel like if you know put put a finger in your you know uh, like nose you will be able to touch that thing. It's somewhere in the back part of your upper throat or nasal area. I mean don't put your finger in nose of course it's just like a you know like my way to describe it it's not low it's it's somewhere here so uh you have that ah, going on and uh, uh you can get it by doing the car motorcycle raving exercise like, ah, 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 and it's here ah. it doesn't really depend much on the pitch so it might be ah, might be lower here but it's not uh, it's, it's it's somewhere here and you need to gain a good control over it so we'll be able to do like engage and disengage without straining a lot without having this okay so once you get that you need to do this you might have it a bit you know uh, in a different note in a different pitch it absolutely depends on your on your vocal you know on your vocal range but once you have something that sounds pretty similar ah, you just need to get louder right like you're doing hey like you're calling someone who is far away don't be afraid if you warmed up which is which is a must for these kind of screams uh if you warmed up if your vocal cords are fine they are not swollen you don't get any you know weird <laughs> So you need to do I, 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 and increase I, I. So I would say this is absolutely safe. I can do that, and I and my voice is absolutely fine. Uh, the next day, I don't get any sign of a damage. 
uh, but just like I said, you need to gain a very, very, very uh, good control over this uh, over this tissue that makes this vibration. And your vocal cords should not be strained. You shouldn't be doing like. Uh, 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 these weird, you know, sounds. No, 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 no bueno. Avoid. So, ay, 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 ay. And from here, you need to increase the projection and maybe even slightly relax. Ay, ay. Just let it go. Yay! All right. Um, what else? A your throat must be absolutely relaxed. Nothing like. Ugh. So if you're doing false chords, we are just tending to to put compression here. <laughs> right? But it's uh, it's not good. So you need to be relaxed. Uh, don't compress that thing. It will take some time. For me, that was the longest. Actually, that was the trickiest part to uh, kind of disengage those things in my throat and just be relaxed. This whole scream doesn't really uh, differ much from just your normal talking voice or singing like hey 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 it's the same it doesn't really require a lot of pressure from your belly from your abdominals whatever it, it's it's a pretty relaxed thing you just need to be loud yeah it takes some efforts but it's not near as you know kind of tense and um, um, it doesn't really require so much efforts like full squad growls. So, hey, hey, hey! If you can do this, hey, which is like 90% of my, you know, projection, I'm, I'm being really loud for these kind of screams. Then you can do yells. Of course, it's physically not that, you know, demanding. Hey, hey! Just do that. Ah! This is very important. Just you need to memorize this. Ah, it must be your muscle memory. Ah, 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 ah. Um, and then you will be able to mix it with your false chords or something. But uh, just two components. So very loud cleans. Hey, nothing really special. Not hey, hey. No, don't do that. Hey, just normal talking or singing. And then ah, this thing. So, um, not low, uh, but uh, this very, very thin, I would call it vibration. Uh, and just try to experiment with that, you know, spot to make this, you know, to find out where your distortion happens. Uh, because you will be able to switch between, between uh, distorted sound and, you know, semi-cleans, vocals. And that's the technique a lot of metal chords and vocalists do, like, um, I don't know. With your head in the closet, buff, you call this love! Na 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 na! So you go in and out, in and out, and it's, it feels like, you know, overdrive effect on a guitar. Um, just the same, when you don't really play a lot, you know, harder, like, you, you, you kind of, have a semi-clean uh, sound but when you start being louder and hit the strings more you know just increasing the volume uh, then that distortion happens same thing for this vocal technique it starts to you know kind of uh, there's like a spot where your semi-cleans turn into the distorted voice with the same pitch so ah, and you get that ah, you add that more ah of this uh, very weird vibration and you have ah, something like that 